waiting for people to come on in the room. Hello, hello, hello. We start waving, waving at my peoples. Trust me, we're gonna get started very, very soon. Um, don't mind the nasal congestion. Um, the show must go on, right? And I have been in the bed sick. <laughs> And I was like, no, but they deserve a show, honey. So I got to get out of this bed and I got to do my face and I got to get dressed up because they are waiting for a show, okay? All right. So we're going to get started soon. I just wanted to let some more people get in the room. Let some more people come on board. Hey, hi, peoples. I see Abs Mears. What is Abs Sir? A B M. I know who it is though. That's my boo. That's my my young buck that that used to live around the corner for me. Got a little baby now. How's the baby? <laughs> and sin. Oh, my big brother. My big brother from back in the day and from now. And he's always been my mentor. And how's everyone? How's the fam? How's everyone? I'm just so happy that you were able to jump on and join me tonight on Think Different TV. Um, no filter this week. This is all me. Look at this. Look at this. This is all me, honey. No filter this week. Last week, I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to do a filter. But I was like, nah. You know, I, I tried it. It didn't work. I was like, I'm just going to throw my face on. So this is a filter, but it's actually attached to me. <laughs> uh, I see b &A Island has joined. We got A.O. Martin. We got, we got Kate Primetime from Prime Nostalgia Podcast joining in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, hey. Manny is on. Thank you, Sin. Thank you so much. Um, is it is it nine now? I, I want to check the time, but I don't want to mess nothing up because I've been <laughs> I've been fumbling and, and trying to make sure that all the sound is good and everything. I don't want to mess nothing up. This week, we's on point. Okay. All right, and you know what? Think different has sponsors. Yes, we have sponsors, right? So that I can bring this awesome show to you every week, Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on IG Live. One of my beautiful sponsors is Anointed Ads, okay? Award-winning graphic design and website company, right? 14 years experience, 100 websites created, all right, this guy is amazing, okay? So if you want to get your stuff done, listen, you can hit him up on his website, anointedads.com, or you can call him at, and I always say I got to get this number, 609-534-0237. Listen, hit him up because when you mention Think Different TV, you get 15% off of your project yes you do yes you do so go over there see phil say hey i want to get started on my project he created the beautiful flyer that i use for my show he is so professional so on top of it love 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 that guy go out there give him a play black owned business yes 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 and then we also have euphoria water all right the cleanest water in Philly, alkaline water, right, with minerals. There's no additives, no chemicals. The cleanest water in Philly, all right? And if you want to place your order and get you some of that clean water, right, so you can hydrate the right way, you know, go over to Euphoria Water right here on IG, spell U-P-H-O-R-I-A, water. All right, and go give them a play. All right, so that's my sponsors. Yes, and a quick shout out to Imitation by Jarrell, this beautiful print painting on the back of the wall of me. You know, beautiful queen, beautiful queen, beautiful queen, beautiful queen. So, just wanted to give him a quick shout out. He does amazing artwork, he makes tables, he does a lot of different stuff. 
and it's just beautiful artwork. So, what's the topic for today, Kai? What, what, what's going on? Well, and I know I said Kai. I'm, I'm used to my government go by like she on here, but, but um, just so we're clear, <laughs> just so we clear, um, I am Lashia. I am your host for tonight. And um, Kai is like my rational side, the side that does all the thinking because it's think different and do a lot of thinking over there. And she is the creative side. So, um, so what's the topic tonight, right? We're going to talk about co-parenting, which it was not my original topic, but it's just been something that has been a blessing for me lately that I had to speak on it. It was on my heart and I just wanted to talk on it because I have a six year old son and his name is Wise and he is my pride and joy and I love him so much. And with me being sick and having to quarantine myself, I was not able to be with my son and you know that tugged at my heartstrings. But he has an amazing father who just was like, listen, do what you need to do to get better. I'm gonna make sure that he is well. And you know, a lot of people do not have that um, that support system when it comes to the parents of their children. And, and I thought that was, you know, at first I did have that problem as well. We were um, butting heads. Cause when you're in a relationship for a long time and you get to the point where, you know, um, the love is not exactly there anymore. But like you have love for that person because y'all been through a lot and everything like that, but it's not like the love when y'all first got together and that starts to fall off. Um, and then you decide to call it quits. There could be a lot of hurt feelings there. And at first there was not any um <laughs> any good feelings okay it took us a long time and a lot of discussions and talks and 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 just me saying i don't want to argue with you i don't want to fight with you and and i always go back to judge judy which is like my favorite show ever to watch and people who know me know like that's like my white noise at night. Like I have to have like Judge Judy on to go to sleep or whatever. It's just playing in the background somewhere. And um, she says something on there that really hit me hard. And it was love your child or children more than you hate each other. Love your child or children more than you hate each other. See, we get so caught up in these hard harsh feelings against each other that we forget that we're really supposed to be loving our child or, ch or children. And ever since I heard that, I was just like, you know what? Wake up, okay? You have to get to a point where your child is the most important thing in your life. Your children are the most important people in your life. You know, you can't keep this back and forth Oh, but remember when you cheated on me and remember when I was going through this, remember when I was going through that and I had, you know, I was hurt and this, that, and the third and all this crazy stuff. Cause at the end of the day, who's going to end up getting hurt out of the whole situation, your child or your children. And you don't want that to happen because they're going to grow up resenting both of you. There's no, um, there's no way for a child to take sides um, if they love both their mother and their father. There's no way. They're, they're not going to take sides. They're going to be at a point where they're at a standstill and they're just going to not want to deal with neither one. It's like, you, I either love both of you and I can be with both of you in the same room or I'm going to have to just leave and, and not be in any of your, you guys' life. And no parent wants that. No, want, no parent wants to hear from their child, I can't be around you and, and dad because y'all argue too much. You know, like, nobody wants to be around it. So definitely it took a long time to get to that point, but we definitely got to a place where we understand that there is someone who matters more than the both of us and that is our son 
and it's a beautiful thing. And and um another thing that we're battling with, and I'm gonna be completely transparent on this show, is that my son, he is on the spectrum, and we are working together to make sure that he has everything he needs in order to get to that next level in life because he is six years old. He's going to be in kindergarten, first grade, second grade. He's going to be in school and we don't want him to be behind and we don't want to have any unnecessary arguments that may impede his his learning and his, his growth. And and that's another thing. I When we split, in my mind, I was like, we need to split because even though we are good parents to our child, we are not good for each other. And all the arguing and going the, going back and forth is just going to make it harder for him. I don't even want him to see us arguing. I didn't want him closing his ears every time we're yelling and stuff like that because autistic children are triggered by a lot of noise. And we couldn't be up there yelling at each other and going at each other's throats. It was not going to work because he was just going to um, regress so and also it was just not healthy for us either we you know by the time we both had wise we were both adults like I was 20 28 years old like I was like I don't need to be up here arguing back and forth with you and, and then by that time by the time he was like three years old we just realized like we couldn't work out anymore uh, matter of fact he was like two he was two when we split um and there was some harsh feelings for like a year but then after that um we just came together and said let's work together so guys are you in a relationship um where you had children and you're co-parenting i always was interested to know how it well I had a significant other for a while and he didn't like that too much <laughs> he definitely didn't like that too much but still yet and still he was mature enough to make sure that he put wise's needs above his own so we were able to kind of get past that and still come to um a, a a medium of some sorts so do you have any co-parenting stories um, is it hard for you to co-parent right now? Are you struggling with that? Is everything going great? Or is it like, we don't even care? It's not even that big of a deal, you know? Um, or who doesn't know how to co-parent? Like, like some people says like, oh, I'm, I'm cool with my, my, um, child's father or my child's mother. And we, we get along because we know we got children and, that's just how things are. And it's also very important to be friends. I know it's hard, <laughs> but sometimes you have to just be friends and just be like, you know what? Um, or be friendly, at least. Come to a point where you're friendly with the person and just be like, listen, you know, and communication. Oh my gosh, communicating, such a, a big thing with co-parenting. Please, please communicate. Like, um, pickups and drop-offs. Oh, yes. Yes. They could be a pain in the butt sometimes. Sometimes you just like, oh my gosh, like we have a set time. And th there was times where he was late dropping him off. I was late dropping him off. But the thing is, is when you communicate with that other person and you, and, and you let them know, like, listen, I'm not trying to take the time that you have with our child away from you. That's not my intention. I'm running a little behind. And you just make that clear and concise, everything can run really smoothly. Some people, they don't, they just be like, well, he'll see him when he sees him or, you know, just saying little stuff like that. That's unnecessary. Like, love your child or children more than you hate each other. That's the biggest thing that I want people to come away with today. It's just, that just love your child or children more than you hate each other co-parenting could be so much easier when you focus directly on the child and then there's some parents and i'm not gonna lie there are some parents 
that are so jilted by the relationship that they feel that when you try to focus on a child, it's like, oh, you really disrespected me because you really don't care about my feelings and this, that, and the third. Those people need to grow up. Point blank, period. And if you have a parent that wants to be active in the child's life, let them. Please. Just let them be in their child's life. Stop trying to be all like, oh, well, we ain't together and this, that, and the third, and he can't see. And, and I say he can't see and this, that, and that because I see a lot coming from my females. And I know a lot of people won't like this, but uh, y'all needs to grow up. It's 2022. We seeing our babies die on the street. And everybody always be like, oh, well, um, you know, all these broken homes and fathers not being there. Sometimes fathers do want to be there. But they're not going to keep being there when, when the uh, mother is always giving them a hard time. Not going to do it. They're not going to do it. I'm just saying. They're not going to do it. And you can't force somebody to be there that don't want to be there. You can't force anybody to be there that don't want to be there. You got to just say here, this is the plan. They want to be there. They have to be there 100%. If they don't want to be there, just don't be there. But you got to give the person, that's their choice, that's their choice. And there's also this issue of child support that I don't totally agree with. I don't because I think it hinders our men more than it helps the situation. That's another total separate situation entirely another subject that i'm going to touch on later on in the series but definitely this episode is about co-parenting and you have to love your child or children more than you hate each other and with that i'm going to go back to the sponsors which i love so much thank you so much for tuning in guys thank you so much um our sponsors are anointed ads award-winning website and graphic design company 14 years experience a hundred over a hundred websites created he has his own website anointedads.com okay if you want to get your own project started all you have to do is hit him up on his website at anointedads.com or call him at 609-534 0237. I finally remembered it. <laughs> you want to call that number and get your project started. And when you mention Think Different TV, guess what? You get 15% off courtesy of Anointed Ads. And also, when, hey Molly, um, who just celebrated a birthday yesterday. So happy belated birthday. Um, so also, our other sponsor is Euphoria Water. Euphoria Water is the cleanest water in Philly, okay? Cleanest water in Philly, alkaline with minerals, no additives, no harsh chemicals, no chemicals at all. It is the cleanest water in Philly. Athletes and celebrities like it, and I know because I am a celebrity, and I love it, all right? <laughs> And if you want to place your order today, you just go to Euphoria Water right here on IG. That was our sponsors. Today, I have an independent spotlight artist that I know and love, and I have known her for years. When I say years, we're talking like 20 years. <laughs> like, oh, like close to 20 years. Oh my goodness. Um, I know this young lady from Girls High, Philadelphia High School from Girls, and we were both in vocal class together and we were in trouble class together. Um, so we both were hurt by the passing of the late uh, Miss Carol Frazier, who passed it last year, um, wonderful teacher. And she was in class with me, and she was on Travel Club with me. And just to see her just do phenomenal things in her career is just, like, so amazing. And not only musically, but also, you know, outside of music. 
I, let me tell you about this young lady, okay? And I wrote some notes because it was some stuff that I didn't even know that she did. I was like, dang, she was busy. She was busy, all right? So listen, this young lady, and I want to get to my notes because I don't want to say anything wrong or anything like that, but she is nothing short of a female, now, okay? She, you know, is always positive, always keeping a positive outlook on life, and I love her for it. She is none other than Suzanne Christine. Sue that. Who that? Sue that, right? And, you know, Sue that stands for spiritual, unique, divine, artistic, and thankful. Amazing, right? And we all, in school, we all, she always was like, it's Suzanne with no E. No E at the end. <laughs> There's no E. And we be like, okay, Suzanne. She's like, no, for real, there's no E. Don't put it an E. <laughs> and um, when I think of Suzanne Christine, the initials SC, I think of so cool, so creative, and so celebrated. Tonight, we're going to celebrate you, Queen, because you are amazing. She is the 2012, 2017, 2018 Philly Hip Hop Artist, Philly Hip Hop Award winner for Best Female R&B Slash Pop Artist. That's a big deal. To win that, that award. And, and you're also being, um, you're being nominated and, and, and also voted on by your peers. That's amazing. And she's won for three years. She also is the founder of the SCH Creative and Performing Arts established in 2010, all right? And um, only because I know this, SCH is her initials, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and she's also the founder of the Fly Tour, which is Forever Love Yourself. And what that does is it's for schools and it recognizes students who demonstrate academic excellence and leadership. So she has been busy, okay? She has been really busy. And she is most known now for her single, Fallen Tears, which has been on the radio, Power 99, a um, lot of different, um, uh, 105.3. She has been on the radio. And also, she has this new song that I'm going to play for you guys now. It's called Levels, which I definitely <laughs> can relate to on so many levels. So without further ado, I'm going to play this song for you. And y'all let me know if y'all can hear it because I'm not going to switch the phone around this time. I'm just going to play it where it is. Okay, here we go. We were supposed to be good. I'm so in love. I'm so in love. 
and that was Levels by Suzanne Christine. Yes, who that? Sue that, right? So if y'all want to find out any more on that amazing artist, please hit her up, check her out on SuzanneChristine.com. <laughs> Remember, there is no E, so it's S-U-Z-A-N-N-C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. Dot com. You go ahead, check her out there. You can also check her out right here on IG. All right. Like I said, we're going to celebrate that queen today. Okay. So, so cool. So creative. So celebrated. That's Sue Deck. All right. And before we close out the night with the financial tip, I want to once again, give a shout out to, and I don't know what's going on. My, what's going on with my stand? There we go. It just got a mind of its own and wanted to fall over. I guess because of all the vibes and everything. It was sounding so good on so many levels. It wanted to fall over. It was like my thing didn't want to be level. <laughs> so anyway, the amazing sponsors that made all of this happen. One is Anointed Ads. Graphic design. Award winning. Graphic design and website company. 14 years experience. Over 100 websites created. Just an amazing, amazing company. And if you want to start your project with him, like I said, he created the flyer for my show. Amazing color, pop of color, you know, eye-catching designs and all that stuff. And if you want your website created, make sure you hit him up at 609-534-0237. All right? He's a Jersey boy. That's why he got that 609, right? And you want to hit him up. That way, you can get your project started. And when you mention Think Different TV, you get 15% off. That's 5, 10, 15% off of your next project. And also, you have Euphoria Water, which is the cleanest water in Philly. Alkaline water with minerals. No additives, no chemicals. Cleanest water in Philly. Get yours today. Hit up Euphoria Water right here on IG to get that order placed all right so financial tip for the day guys now i've seen a lot of these posts okay if a woman has 200 dollars and a man has 50 dollars you know um and they go out on a date and the total is like 40 something blah blah blah, blah who should pay and i was just like are we doing this again i guess 2022 okay we need to stop all right so i figured there should be some type of um solution to this problem okay a lot of people um don't want to do joint accounts and everything like that because that could be really sticky i don't recommend it um 10 out of 10 would not recommend <laughs> would not recommend at all um it's good to keep things separate um for obvious reasons I mean do you do you that's just my personal preference that's not the financial tip the financial tip today is um, when it comes to creating a fund for fun <laughs> get like a little jar a little piggy bank or something like that and y'all each contribute some money to this piggy bank and then when y'all want to go out and go out on a date, y'all just dip into that instead of worrying about who the heck gonna pay. Because if each of y'all are putting in an equal amount every week into this fund, guess what? Y'all gonna say that y'all both equally contribute to the middle. I think that's really creative, and I think it also could be used for families too. If you're not like you don't have a couple, nothing like that, and it's like you and your kids and stuff like that, every once in a while, put like five dollars in there let it build up and let that be the fun that you dip into when you want to take your kids out to like chuck e cheese or you want to take them out to dinner you want to take them out to hey i miss discovery zone they don't got discovery zone anymore um some places like sky zone and stuff like that if you want to take them out for a nice day just chilling and having fun have that so you can dip into that instead of dipping into the money that you make and having your checkings account. I don't know how helpful that will be to you guys. I know that that's something that I'm going to start implementing because I know sometimes I'll be like, dang, I'm going to take my son somewhere and everything like that. And I got to go into my checking account. But I realize if I just put a little bit away, 
just a little bit away. It don't have to be a lot. I can start at like $2 a week, you know, if you want to start small. $2, put it in a little bit, piggy bank and let it just accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Because I get paid every week. I know that's putting a lot of business out there, but listen, it is what it is. And I can put my little $2 in there every week, save it up. And then when I want to take my son out somewhere, I could just be like, oh, just go right in the little piggy bank or the, the little jar and just take it out and take him out somewhere. That's my financial tip. All right. Um, I'm going to get into the nitty gritty stuff. Um, but if you want to get like other financial tips that are a little bit more, you know, in debt and everything like that, you can go to my other page, which is KS Legacy Building LLC one. That's KS Legacy Building LLC one. It is in my bio right here on IG. And you can get a lot more financial tips over there. Um, I also talk about, because I, I do life insurance. I do um, financial coaching, all of these great things. So if you want to know more about that type of stuff, investing and all that great stuff, you can just go to the other page because that's like my financial page. And this is my fun page. So this is my fun page and that's my financial page. But I like to put fun in both of them. I like, I like to put the fun in financial, financial, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that concludes the show today. I, I am so happy that you guys joined me today. There are going to be a lot more topics, a lot more independent artists that I will be spotlighting. And a lot more financial tips coming your way in the upcoming weeks. And I'm just so glad that you guys rocked out with me tonight. So make sure you leave your comments below um, when this live is posted. Um, do you have a story about co-parenting or a tip that you may have with co-parenting? Do you have a financial tip of your own as a way to save money for a fund? Not a rainy day, but for fun. Because sometimes we can get so wrapped up in paying for those bills and everything like that, we forget to put some money aside to have fun. So do you have a tip like that? And um, also, you know, more things to come. All right? Before we get out of here tonight, I want to shout out my sponsors once again. One sponsor being Anointed Ads. That's A-N-O-I-N-T-E-D-A-D-S, all right? And you can find him right here on IG, or you can find him on Facebook. He also has a website, anointedads.com. Listen, he is a war award-winning graphic design and website company, 14 years experience, over 100 websites created, right? Created the wonderful flyer for my show. And... When you're ready to get your project started, he's ready to work with you, all right? And he's ready to also take 15% off when you mention Think Different TV. And we also have Euphoria Water, our other sponsor, the cleanest water in Philly. Hydrate the right way, right? Cleanest water in Philly, alkaline with minerals, no additives, no chemicals, Mwah, chef's kiss, right? So if you want to place your order today to get that clean water and hydrate the right way, make sure you go over to Euphoria Water right here on IG. So that concludes my show, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And like I said, if you have any comments, good or bad, please post them below. Let me know how I can make the show better. Do you have a topic you want to discuss? You know, feel free to, you know, send me a DM and let me know, like, hey, I think this topic should be discussed. We don't want to get too political, but we want to just make sure that, you know, people have a say, too. All right? Thank you so much, guys. Bye!